Concerned fishermen associations have voiced the worries about the loss of revenues the UK will experience during the transition period as, according to the deal agreed on Monday, Britain is set to remain under the CFP for more than 20 months after Brexit. Bertie Armstrong, chief executive of the Scottish Fisherman Federation, told Express.co.uk that remaining under the disadvantageous European policy for almost two more years will cost the UK a fortune. He said, under the CFP Britain is only allowed to keep 40% of the fish in our exclusive economic zone, therefore the remaining 60% is left in the hand of European fishing fleets, that 40% is worth about £940 million every year, according to the latest figures from the government, which means that every year we lose approximately £1 billion, the value of the remaining 60%, under this arrangement, considering that the implementation period will last for some 21 months, then the lost opportunity cost for Britain will be well above a billion pound. The Brexiteers said they were not going to put up with a bad deal. And now they have to stick to the words Aaron Brown, founder of Fishing for Leave Mr Armstrong, said European countries outside the bloc with a total control of the waters retains a higher percentage of the fish, he said, Norway retains 84% of the fish it gets in its exclusive economic zone and Iceland gets the 90%, but under the EU we can only keep 40%. So this is a very damaging policy for us, of course everything will change with Brexit, but the policy has been very distorted to the disadvantage of the UK, and this has been going on for the last 44 years, voicing his concern and the one of the fishermen community, he said, we are unhappy that we won't have control of our fish and territory until the end of the implementation period, but we are seeking assurances from the highest levels that this will be the case after 2020, get it, the EU common fisheries policy will cost the UK almost £2 billion during the transition period, having control doesn't mean keeping all the fish. If you have control you can negotiate how much assess and quota other state members are allowed to buy. Fishermen associations took their outrage to Parliament to pressure the government to change the transition period's terms concerning the fishing industry. Leave campaign group Fishing for Leave organised a fishing protest along the River Thames on Wednesday to voice fishermen's fury. Aaron Brown, founder of the group, explained that the transition period could do much more damage than just a loss of revenues in the next two years. He told Express.co.uk, the EU can do severe damage to us, losing a couple of billion pounds during the transition period can have a knockout effect on our infrastructures, shops and suppliers, but is not just that, get in Nigel Farage took part too. Fishing for leaves protest. During those 21 months, the European Union could even implement a legislation aiming at crippling our fleets, Article 62.2 of the United Nations claims that what you can't catch yourself goes to your neighbours. Which means that if Britain doesn't have enough boats anymore, the EU will keep getting our fish. UN's Article 62.2 states that if a coastal state does not have the capacity to harvest the entire allowable catch, it shall, through agreements or other arrangements, give other states access to the surplus of the allowable catch. Mr. Brown stressed that once freed from the quota imposed by the EU, Britain will be able to have a decent legislation, a discard-free policy rather than a discard ban, among other Conservative MPs and Brexit supporter politicians. Jacob Rees-Mogg and Nigel Farage took part of the group's protest of Wednesday, Mr Brown, who branded the manifestation a success which gave fishermen the possibility to send the message out there, called for Brexiteers in Parliament. To stick to the words, he said, we're going to hope that the government and the Brexiteers will be able to live up to the fact that no deal is better than a bad deal, because this is a terrible deal for fishermen and for many other sectors of the UK. The Brexiteers said they were not going to put up with a bad deal, and now they have to stick to their words. It's a ridiculous situation we are in right now. Mr Brown also confessed he spoke to Mr Rees Mogg, who was very concerned. Getty Fishing for Leave founder spoke to Jacob Rees-Mogg at the protest who he said was very concerned. He added, I hope he will do the right thing in Parliament and put the country before 
the party when asked what Prime Minister Theresa May could tell the Commons to reassure them about the agreement. Leading backbencher Mr Resmog said, I think it's very important that the rules between our formal date of leaving and the end of the implementation period do not have an unfair effect on our fishing communities, I would prefer it, of course, if we left properly on March 30, 2019, Mr Resmog also said the protest was an effort to highlight the plight of fishing communities. He added, we need to ensure that we have a vibrant fishing community and we want to make sure that it survives to the end of the implementation period to benefit from our being free of the tyranny of the European Union.